गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रेन इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो यू हैव लर्न डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ सेंटेंसेस एंड वॉट इज अ सेंटेंस नाउ वॉट इज अ सेंटेंस एंड डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ सेंटेंसेस आर डिक्लेरेटिव इंटरोगेटिव एक्सक्लेमेटरी एंड इम्परेटिव सेंटेंसेस यू हैव लर्न ऑल दिस यू हैव ऑल्सो लर्न सब्जेक्ट एंड प्रेडिकेट वॉट इज सब्जेक्ट एंड वॉट इज प्रेडिकेट now we move to our next topic that is how to form interrogative sentences now you know what is interrogative sentences children that is to form questions now how to form questions there are two ways to form questions one is wh questions and the second is yes or no questions now what is wh questions now, to get some specific information whenever we want to get some specific information for someone or something we use wh questions when we want a particular answer so what are wh questions when where who why what which how these all are wh questions now when to use these questions children remember whenever we want to know about time we use when when we want to know about some place we use where when we want to know about some person we use who when we want to know about any action or idea we use what when we want to know a reason we use why when we want to know about some thing we use which when we want to know about some manner we use how now these are called wh questions now the other way is yes or no questions these yes or no questions are very easy children when we want to simply know the answer either in yes or no that time we form yes or no questions and it is very easy in yes or no question helping verb plays the important role in what are helping verbs is am are was were these all are helping verbs so you just have to change the position of helping verb bring it in the front of subject and form a question so this is how we form yes or no question now in sentences there may be helping verb there may not be helping verb only main verb can be there so whenever there is helping verb to form a question you will use the same helping verb when there is no helping verb in the sentence and only the main verb is there that time you use the special words such as do does did now when to use this do does did and how to use remember children whenever you use do does or did in a sentence remember with do does did use the base form of the verb not the past tense form or any other form just use the base form of the verb so now when to use this do does did whenever the sentence is present tense whenever the sentence is present tense and there is the subject is singular you use does when the subject is singular you use does and whenever the subject is plural in present tense you use do with the main verb when the sentence is in past tense when the sentence is in past tense and the subject is singular or plural you use did in past tense with singular and plural both we use did so remember this whenever you use 
do does did use the base form of the verb now this base form why i am putting stress on base form you will come to know when i'll show you this example okay now let's move how to form yes or no question let's see these questions then you will be more clear let us see this table now the first box i am a poet it changes to am i a poet just the helping verb has brought in front am i a poet mayank is sad is mayank sad they are faithful are they faithful sukriti was quiet was sukriti quiet the men were annoyed were the men annoyed this is how you form yes or no question by moving the helping verb and bring it bringing it in front now when there are two verbs in the sentence then one is helping verb the other is main verb so how to form a question ashish is playing with his poet it becomes is ashish playing with his pet alini was painting the canvas was alini painting the canvas next they have purchased a car have they purchased a car gayatri has written a book has gayatri written a book this is how we form yes or no question children now how to form wh questions with the special words do does and did let us see that first sentence the children performed well in the exams now this sentence is past tense children you can see here performed ed is there so that means the sentence is past tense so you will use did because there is only main verb here so it becomes you want to know about manner that's why you are using how how did the children perform in the exam so it becomes how did the children perform when i am using did i told you use the base form of the verb performed will change into perform you will remove ed and make perform so how did the children perform in the exam next she goes to school by bus here the sentence is present tense she goes to school daily routine and here she is singular subject is singular so we will use does how does she go to school goes will become go i told you with do does did you use the base form of the verb so goes will change into go whenever you use does remember the s of the verb goes into does think that the s of the verb goes into does and you remove the s from the verb so here goes will become go in the goes you will remove es so how does she go to school third one they go for a walk daily now here again it is present tense but the subject is plural so we are using do when do they go for a walk when do they go for a walk so you want to know about time when do they go that's why you are using when i hope you are are clear how to form wh questions now let us see this interrogative sentences exercise i have given it to you to do it in your notebook i hope you all have understood this very well okay fatima bought apples and bananas from the market so it becomes what did fatima buy from the market see bought became buy the base form this is how you change the sentence into interrogative question okay now 
this is clear now let's move to the next part of the sentences that is sentences can be positive or negative now what is positive sentence when there is no no when there is no no or not in your sentence it becomes it is a positive it is also called affirmative sentence so when there is no or not in the sentence when there is no no or not in the sentence it is positive and if there is no not never nothing then it is a negative sentence let's see how they are formed i have money i have no money arpita has news for you arpita has no news for you now next when there is helping verb in the sentence you just have to add not to the helping verb and form it negative for example see here i am tired i am not tired samya is my somya is my friend somya is not my friend they are my neighbors they are not my neighbors harry was my classmate harry was not my classmate my cousins were in australia my cousins were not in australia now next when there is helping verb and the main verb in the sentence how to change it into negative you have to add not in between these two verbs between helping verb and the main verb you have to simply add not and form it negative for example i am going to paris i am not going to paris ankush has finished his lunch ankush has not finished his lunch now we have learned do does did how to use with the base form so same here again in positive negative also you have to use the same rule i drink tea i do not drink tea children remember whenever we use i we you we always use the plural form of verb that's why with i we use do not so next aman plays chess aman does not play chess why because aman is singular and that's why we are using does not and when we are using does not we will remove s from plays and make it play that is the base form so it will become aman does not play chess plays will change into play understood children i hope you all are clear with this positive negative sentences also now let's see this exercise i have given this to i have given this exercise to do it in notebook okay so let's see i like to dance i do not like to dance it is windy today it is not windy today this is how all the sentences changes changes into negative i hope you all are clear with this sentences chapters okay bye see you